What's up, homies? It's John from D Pad Dubs. This is going to be one hell of a guide today. So lend me your ears, take my hand, we shall become the beat. Alright, so the first thing that I want to go over is crossfade and song choice. So crossfade is going to be your bread and butter and mastering when and where to use each song is not incredibly difficult. It just takes some solid game sense. The first thing to understand is you're not supposed to have gold healing on your team. Not only that, but you're going to have to learn to be comfortable with your teammates sitting at about half health during some team fights. Lucio's passive healing is the weakest part of his kit. Amp it up obviously makes healing much stronger, but even then, healing is not Lucio's greatest strength. Lucio's home song is speed boost, meaning you should be on speed boost until you see teammates who need healing, then you crossfade to heal. It's important to prioritize speed boost for many reasons. Speed boost makes your team significantly more elusive. Your teammates are harder to shoot. It allows your tanks to play more fluid by getting them in and out of the fights fast. You can quickly escort your DPS on flank routes. And of course, you can taxi teammates from spawn back to the fight. So I leave speed boost on until I decide I want to provide some burst healing, then I'm back to speed boost. Speed is home base. A little Lucio tech tip. If you didn't know, if you leap off walls while you're wall riding, you gain a boost to speed. This works whether you're using speed or healing. This wall jump technique is your primary movement ability. As you practice more with Lucio, you'll get more and more comfortable with wall riding. So don't worry about staying on walls the entire game like the pros. Just use wall jump boost and get more comfortable with that mechanic. Also, turn backwards wall riding on in your settings. It will take a little bit to get used to, but it completely opens up Lucio's kit and all that he's really capable of. All right, amp it up. So you should not be using amp it up at the beginning of the round to escort your team out of spawn. Please save the cooldown for when you really need it. So proper timing and usage of Lucio's amp it up will be the key difference in a good Lucio and a bad Lucio. You must have amp it up ready to go when your team needs it. If your Reinhardt gets a fat shatter and your amp is on cooldown, you failed. If Ash ignites a bomb on your entire team and you don't have amp it up, you failed. Okay. Okay, you don't literally fail. It's impossible to use Amp It Up perfectly all the time, but a smart Lucio always has a plan with his cooldowns. Amp It Up is crucial for pushing assault maps and control points. Correct timing with Amp can get your tanks and DPS on top of an enemy player at a position before the team fight starts. The Overwatch meta right now is Reinhardt, May, and Lucio. The rest of the team kind of just works around that. Lucio speed boosts this trio into the mouth of the enemy tanks. May throws a wall behind them, and then Ryan unleashes all of his problems and frustrations from the day. This is our favorite way to play Overwatch, and we absolutely collapse teams doing this. The way to gauge whether or not you're using AMP correctly is listen to your tanks in team chat. If your tanks are screaming about how absolutely savage they are, how much space they're taking, or how much of a carry hero they are, you're doing it right. When tanks are hyping themselves up, take it as a compliment. You're winning the fight on the front line. So I want to go over Lucio Taxi because I'm not a big fan of it. If you're unfamiliar with this term, it's when Lucio returns to the spawn room to speed boost teammates back into the fight. Be very careful with doing this. At some point, your teammates are going to ask for a taxi mid game. Think about it like this. If you leave your team to escort one person in from spawn, your team is now at a significant numbers disadvantage. If the enemy decides to attack while you're taxiing, your team is faced with a 4v6. On top of that, most Lucios use their amp to taxi faster, which you will inevitably get punished for because now you don't have amp when your team needs it in the beginning of the next fight. Here's how I view a taxi. You commit your team into a fight. If your team loses the fight, get out, skate back to spawn. Pick up your entire team and regroup for a faster second push. 
Faster, more coordinated team pushes mean less resources for the enemy team and a higher chance of a mistake. If you can't gather your entire team for the taxi, just grab the last person to respawn and catch them up to your team. Taxi teams, not individuals. This is where I become the overbearing, abusive parent that forces their kid to eat kale and implements a strict regimen of studying Bolivian chamber music and pain. I get it. I'm a wet blanket, but you know what? I like to win. So stop hunting for environmental kills like a Chesapeake Bay Retriever chasing a duck. You aren't big goose, dude. It's fine to use environmental kills as a part of your kit, but if you're just spinning around well, looking for someone to boop in for an entire round, I hope you fall on that well and never return. The other way I see Lucio's improperly use Soundwave is just diving enemy backlines, pushing people around. I mean actually jumping around in the enemy backline, doing nothing but pushing people around. Here's a clip of a very bad Lucio doing, I mean, nothing. Now, the same map same idea, except I'll show you how a good Lucio dives a back line. Don't pause. Press play. Don't pause. Here's how a pro uses sound wave. It is a peel. A peel is a way to divert the attention of an enemy player. Sound wave is best for this. It pushes May and Reaper out of kill range. I don't know if you've played Overwatch recently, but May Reaper is one of the most potent DPS combos in the game right now, and Lucio can be a direct counter to them. Keep your head on a swivel, watching out for Reaper flanks. As soon as you hear a shotgun blast, whip around and boop him away. The cooldown is short enough that you can almost permanently keep him at distance. Same principles go for Mei. She's gonna try to push into your tanks, just boop her away. This is by far the most effective use of Soundwave. Boop is also great for pushing the enemy closer to your team. If the enemy is retreating, you can quickly get behind them and shove them back into your team so they can clean up the kill. This can be a risky play and requires patience and coordination. Keep track of the enemy cooldowns and positioning. Don't get caught in front of your tanks and eat a hook or a flashbang. This play is useful as hell, but it takes a lot of practice. Be smart about your approach. Lastly, a boop can be a way to confirm a kill. It does 25 damage. Just be careful not to boop away an enemy that's stunned or frozen. Be smart with the ability. You potentially could save an enemy instead of killing him. Okay, so Sound Barrier gives 750 temporary shields to teammates within 30 meters and it slowly disappears over the course of 7 seconds. As a Lucio, it's smart to pop ult going up a hill or directly onto an object like the payload or a box. Because of the awkward arc animation Lucio does, it can be easy to kill him before he uses his ult. Ulting onto an object shortens the animation and it leaves less room for getting picked while ulting. Another thing to know about Lucio's ult is that there's a small window of time to give your ult to teammates around a corner. So sound barrier is widely considered a defensive ultimate, meaning it can save your team in a bad spot like a May Freeze, Rhine Shatter, or Zarya Grav. You can also use Beat Drop as a way to engage a team fight and get Reinhardt within range to swing his hammer like a madman. Combine Lucio's ult and amp it up speed to just shove it down the enemy throat. Please make sure speed boost is on after you ult. Don't just dry heal your teammates with sound barrier. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like down low, subscribe to our channel, and as always, thanks for hanging out in the D-pad. Bye. Bye. Bye.